Welcome back to the Crypto Gorilla YouTube channel. Today, I wanted to go over Phantom, a wallet built for the Solana blockchain. Now with it, you could send and receive tokens, you can collect NFTs, and you can also do token swaps. So the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to add the browser extension. And if you're familiar with MetaMask for Ethereum, it's gonna work exactly the same. So we're just gonna click add to Firefox. Then from there, we're gonna click add to Firefox. You get this little pop-up and you're gonna confirm by clicking add. And from there, you're gonna have the choice to create a brand new wallet or to use a recovery phrase if you already have a wallet and you just wanna import it into this browser. So I'm gonna go ahead and click new wallet where you will then be presented with 12 words and this is gonna be your seed recovery phrase. So you don't want anybody to see these words. These are private. If anyone gets them, they're gonna get access to your funds. And if you lose them, you lose access to your funds forever. So write them down somewhere safe where you won't lose them and where it can't be hacked. And once you've written them down, click, okay, I saved it somewhere. And once you've created a password, you click save and they give you a little tip that you can open the wallet at any time by pressing alt shift P, you click continue. And that's it, your wallet is now created. So if we just go up here to our plugins, we have our brand new Phantom wallet. And from here, we can just go through the tabs. So here's where you're gonna see your balance and all your coins. Next, you can see all of your collectible NFTs. Here's their token swap. So you could trade Solana for USDC, for Serum, USDT, and Radium. Next, you can view your activity. Since this is a brand new wallet, we won't have any activity. Finally, you could view your wallet settings. You could change the name of your wallet. You can also reset your recovery phrase. So back on the main page of our wallet, if we click manage token list here, you could see a ton of tokens that the Phantom wallet is capable of holding. But for the time being, we just want Solana. So the first thing we're gonna need to do is send Solana to our wallet. And to do that, we're gonna click on receive, and then we're gonna do from a wallet or exchange. I'm gonna be sending it from Binance, but you could send it from anywhere, from KuCoin. So we just click here, send from wallet and exchange. And then you could either scan the QR code if you're using a mobile app, or you can just copy paste your wallet address. So here we are on Binance's withdraw page. I've already selected Solana as the coin I want to send, and I am just gonna copy paste my Phantom wallet address. And then you can see Binance has already detected the network that I wanna use. I wanna use the sole network. So next we're gonna to wanna to input an amount. You could either manually put an amount. You can use the arrows to toggle how much you wanna send. I'm just gonna click the max button and I'm gonna send 1.45 sol. Now there is a fee and you can see it's 0.01 sol, which is roughly a dollar and 10 cents. If you wanna know exactly how much it is, they're gonna tell you when you cash out. But if you click the network dropdown, you're gonna see a rough estimate of what the fee is and it is indeed $1.10 American. So I'm gonna go ahead and click withdraw. I'm gonna do the required confirmations and then my money will be sent to my Phantom wallet. So if I go ahead and check my wallet, I can see that my funds have indeed arrived. And if we click the activity tab, you can see I have my first transaction. So now that we have funds in our wallet, what can we do with it? Well, the first thing we can do is we can do a token swap. So we're just gonna go ahead and swap our soul for some serum. So let's go ahead and do 0.1. If serum wasn't selected, you would just click here and select it from the list. They're gonna give you an estimate of how much you're gonna get. So here we could see the exchange rate. You could set a slippage percentage. So the transaction is gonna fail if the price changes unfairly by more than 1%. And finally, you have your estimated fee. In my case, it's gonna be 22.6 cents. So I'm gonna go ahead and click review order and it all looks good. So I'm gonna go ahead and click swap. And there you go, the token swap is done. So if I click close, and I go back to the home page of my wallet, I now have two tokens rather than just Solana. And same thing, if I go back to the activities tab, you can see that I have a second transaction in my history. So the next thing that we could do is we could purchase NFTs. So here we are on solanart.io and we're gonna go ahead and connect our Phantom wallet. So I'm gonna click connect wallet. I'm gonna select my wallet. So in this case, it's Phantom, click connect wallet. And just like with MetaMask, you have to sign here. You just have to approve connecting. So I'm gonna click connect. And there you go. My wallet is now connected and you can see how much soul I have in my wallet right here. So now if I wanted to buy one of these NFTs, I would just click the project. I would select an NFT, wait for it to load. And then this buy button is now activated. If my wallet wasn't connected, this buy button would be disabled and I wouldn't be able to click it. So if I were to click buy, the wallet's gonna pop up and then I would have to approve the transaction. And unlike Ethereum, where you have to pay crazy gas fees, with Solana, there is no gas. So you don't have to pay these fees. There's no more gas wars. And this is one of the main reasons there is so much hype for the Solana ecosystem. So the last thing we're gonna learn how to do is how to send tokens 
from our phantom wallet into another wallet and to do this you're just gonna have to click send next you're gonna have to select the token you want to send and finally you just need to enter your wallet address as well as an amount you would click next and then you would just confirm the transaction once again there's fees however the fee is much lower this time rather than before it was a dollar and ten cents on binance here it's going to be less than a fraction of a penny so it is extremely cheap to send solana back to an exchange from your phantom wallet that does it for today's tutorial if you want to win 25 ada coins i'm giving them away when i reach 1,000 subscribers and all you have to do to qualify is four things you have to subscribe to my youtube channel Comment your Twitter handle in the comment section down below. You have to follow me on Twitter and you have to retweet my pinned tweet and you have to do all four of those things. If you want to buy cryptocurrencies in Canada, be sure to use my referral links in the description down below and you will get free money when you make your first trade. If you aren't already subscribed to my channel, would you kindly hit that subscribe button, smash that bell notification. Thank you for watching the Crypto Gorilla. Peace.